What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Laura Jean and Peter finish high school at the end of To All the Boys, always and forever. And the possibility for a continuation of the franchise is questioned by fans. A lot. The best news is that a spin-off is already in production. Without any further ado, here's everything we know about a potential fourth part of To All the Boys. Major spoilers for To All the Boys, always and forever, follow. So we're going around in circles. Yeah, well, it's not supposed to be like this. Then how's it supposed to be? I don't know. Not like this, though. A proper ending. To All the Boys, Always and Forever perfectly portrays the reality of love, growing up, and hope. The fourth part of the popular franchise gives Laura Jean and Peter an ending which, according to some, is a proper one but deserves a follow up. In 2018, Netflix released To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is, as you already know, a teen rom com with a lead character named Laura Jean. The third installment of the franchise, To All the Boys, Always and Forever, was released on February 12, 2021. Based on the third novel in Jenny Han's To All the Boys trilogy, Always and Forever, the finale we saw in the third film explicitly presents the very end of the franchise. However, according to the cast and the behind-the-scenes crew of the franchise, we might see a different kind of continuation of the story. Michael Fumignari is the director with a script by Katie Lovejoy. The cast of the film is perfectly chosen with Lara Jean Covey, portrayed by Lana Condor, and Peter Kavinsky, portrayed by Noah Centineo. At the end of the third film, the beloved couple plans to go to college, Stanford University. But the third film also involves a journey to Korea, a journey that Lara Jean enjoys with her family, her father Dan, John Corbett, his girlfriend, Trina, Soraya Blue, and her sisters, Margot, Janelle Parrish, and Kitty, Anna Cathcart. The third installment gives Lara more difficulties as she tries to properly understand her beliefs and choices in order to bring a better decision for her future. Is there a happily ever after? Certainly. After her dad's wedding to Trina, Peter surprises Lara Jean with her yearbook. A yearbook in which there's a brand new contract for the two of them to sign, confirming that they are dedicated to each other even though they will be in a long distance relationship. At the end of the film, we see Lara accepting her future with a long distance relationship as she promises to write letters to Peter. Now we can't help for wonder if we'll ever see a continuation. Now that to All the Boys, Always and Forever is released, fans can't help but crave more of the Netflix story that took the world by storm. So far, the franchise has three installments, all following Lara Jean and Peter's relationship, with the latest sequel giving an end to their journey. The ending, however, doesn't necessarily prove that the franchise ends right here, leaving audiences wondering what's next for the couple. Because the third installment, To All the Boys, Always and Forever, presents Lara and Peter planning their future. It will be really easy for the producers to come up with To All the Boys 4. If the story gets its continuation, we need to go through its potential release date. To All the Boys 4 Release Date If Netflix decides to produce To All the Boys 4, we won't see it anytime soon. If the franchise continues following the books it is based on, we will have to wait for another book to be written. Nevertheless, it would take years to see the next installment of Netflix's popular franchise. The first film in the franchise, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, came out on August 17th, 2018, with the second movie, To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You, being released on February 12th, 2020. And then, To All the Boys, Always and Forever, came out on February 12th, 2021. If production on the next film starts in 2021, we can expect the film to be released sometime in 2023 or 2024. To All the Boys 4 Cast it's really difficult to imagine the fourth installment being without Lana Condor and Noah Centineo, as they starred in the three Netflix original films. However, there's a chance the story will continue without them in the lead roles. For instance, the film franchise After, adapted from the books by Anna Todd, will come to its end next year with its last installment. However, two sequels will follow, but they won't feature the lead stars. Instead, one of them will feature Tessa and Harden, the lead characters, children. Do you guys believe there's a possibility for the To All the Boys story to continue this way? Let us know. A spin-off Yes, a spin-off about Kitty is under production. According to Deadline, Netflix is already working on the television spin-off of the To All the Boys movies that will be focused on Lara Jean's younger sister Kitty, a character played by Anna Cathcart. I hear the untitled half-hour romantic comedy series project, now in early development, would follow Kitty, the youngest of the Covey sisters, on her quest to find true love, the report states. 
When it comes to Condor, she thinks the spinoff would totally make sense. She told Entertainment Tonight, I think Kitty is truly just a scene stealer. Noah and Condor are on board. Condor and Noah Centineo seem pretty interested in continuing the journey of their characters. In an interview with Elle, both of the TLLBILB stars said it would be really fun to see what their characters would look like in 20 years. Noah and I have talked about this, Condor said. I have this version that Peter just breaks. He has a full mental physical breakdown. He's like, truly, who am I? Explained the actress, but only if there's a fourth book. In another interview with Variety, Noah Centineo said he'll be only involved in the fourth movie if Han wrote the book. Interestingly enough, when Variety posted the interview on Twitter, Jenny Han responded with a thinking emoji and a now deleted tweet. Then Condor saw Han's tweet and wrote, slow claps all around. However, the fact that the tweet has been deleted only proves that a fourth film is, um, not happening soon. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Han said that the third film is a completion, adding that she thinks it's got all the beauty and pain of growing up and all those milestones we get to see happen in the third movie. It seems like the story is over for Han, but that doesn't mean others aren't interested in producing a continuation. Maybe someone else will write the script for the next film. What do you guys think? Now let's check an interesting competition that is currently popular on the internet. The Kissing Booth vs. To All the Boys both Netflix's original teen romance films, The Kissing Booth and To All the Boys I've Loved Before, are very successful. And because of how successful the two franchises are, fans are now voting for which one is better. So which film is better, according to you? Let's check more details. To be honest, we enjoyed both of them, and if we compare the plots, TBT follows Elle and her best friend Lee along with Elle's love interest Noah, who just happens to be Lee's brother. The film presents a love triangle that we have never seen before. TKB was first written in 2011 by Beth Reekles as a story on the Wattpad. By 2012, it has gathered over 19 million reads, and now the franchise holds three successful movies, with the last one released in the summer of 2021. However, not so many fans were satisfied with its ending, so there goes a minus point for TKB. Let's check what To All the Boys has to offer. As we previously mentioned, Lara Jean is the protagonist of the franchise and she writes love letters to every boy she has ever had a crush on. Out of five letters that she has wrote but never sent, all of them got delivered to her crush's addresses, not by her, and the rest is history. To All the Boys is originally a famous novel written by Jenny Han, and the film's screenplay is by Sofia Alvarez. Only because of TKB ending, our pick is To All the Boys, but we really love both films equally. Which film franchise do you love more? Also, do you guys think there will be a fourth to all the boys film? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.